Hello and welcome to this edition of Blog Art Co.'s line of instructional videos. This is instructional video number two. In this video we will be showing you a new kind of letter style that we have named Turvy because it's tall and curvy. So let's start. In this video we will be using the usual supplies. A sharpie, an eraser, a pencil, colored pencils, and a piece of paper. If you plan on giving your art as a gift, I would recommend buying canvas paper since it is thicker, more durable, and will last longer. Now let's get to the drawing. So what I have here is an example of Turby style lettering. As you can see, the letters are very tall, the sides are curvy, and it's kind of similar to bubble style lettering except it's a, sort of a little bit more stretched out. As you can see here, I have a sports theme, or more specifically baseball. There's the baseball there, some dirt, and some grass. And the letters are have stripes on them like a referee. So, let's get started with our own drawing. Now, today we'll be drawing the initials B-A-C for Blob Art Co. Now, as you're drawing your own turvy style letters, you have to keep in mind sort of the rules of this kind of le of these kinds of letters. Always make sure that your letters are tall, taller than they are wide, and also make sure that they're very curvy. There shouldn't be any straight lines, all curves, even no matter what kind of letter, which is kind of what makes it similar to bubble style lettering. So here I am drawing the B A C. So I'll skip through all this so you know how to watch me. So, so far I've already drawn the BAC, and as you can tell, there are practically no straight lines. Uh, the closest I've come to straight lines here is in the A and in the dots. And even though it may be kind of hard to tell in the video, even those aren't straight, they're a little bit curvy. So that's sort of the concept of the turvy lines, I mean turvy letters. So coming up next is the sharpie so make sure you have that ready okay so here I've already done all the sharpening and when you're done sharpening you always want to remember to erase everything that is definitely vital erase all any pencil marks that you see um, as, so as you can see I've added a little bit of polka dots a smiley face and sort of a confetti pop thing or popper so yeah here I am coloring in the polka dots with green. So I will fast forward through this and so you can see what the final product looks. Just remember that when you're coloring you want to stay in the lines and if you're going to do polka dots like this then be careful that in places where there's holes like in the B, the two holes and the in the A, the one that you don't color in the holes accidentally because that will not erase unless you have the right pencils but yeah so you always want to be careful when you're coloring in don't go outside of the lines and always make sure you're coloring the right thing with the right color so here we go fast forward Zoop. okay so so far I've already colored all the letters in the polka dots are different colors than the letters and the clip parts colored and all of that so yeah now one important thing that you want to remember is when you're coloring in with the colored pencils you want to make sure that you always color in the right direction because it'll make your art look cleaner. Also just be creative when you're doing your art. Whatever pops into your mind just draw it out. You know you can make mistakes and start over again. It'll You never know if you'll come up with something really cool and if you do then you can share it with us on our blog or post a comment onto the YouTube channel. So thanks for watching and Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our videos, and subscribe to our blog. If you find anything good about our videos or anything bad about them, just please let us know. We'll take any kind of feedback. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a good day and have a good time drawing.
So, that's it, our final product. Thanks again for watching, and go get drawing.